once you made your recording, you may want to edit the transcript, the caption file for it. And so there's basically three ways that you're going to know where the video is. The first way is to come up to chat. And you'll see that I have recorded two meetings here. And I can click on one of these and it will open up the meeting video. I cannot edit the transcript here. The other thing that you can do is go to your Outlook and you'll find a link here to a Microsoft Stream. And if you open that up, you can click here on Go to Your Video Now. The other way, of course, is to go directly into uh, Microsoft Office, click on All Apps, and then Find Stream. When Stream opens up, you'll be able to go to My Content, click on Videos, and it should be the top video. Here it is, Meeting in General. Now, this one is set to be available to anyone, and this is a permission setting. The way you get to the captions is just to open up the, the meeting here, and you'll see the transcripts right here. You can drag the entire content of the, the window here, and then you can right-click it and then copy it. And then you can open up Microsoft Word, create a blank document, and then paste in. The, and there you go. You've got a transcript. And if you want, you can go through here and you can delete all the time signatures that are in here. You may want to edit the captions that has been produced by the system. So you're going to open your video and then over here you'll see there's the transcript. You click on this pencil here and then you click on this little play segment. When the recording is started you can see that it started right here and now the problem with that is it continues on into the next caption. So while you're in that caption you'll see that it says save and it says discard. And so you can basically type over any of this content in here and then click save. Or if you don't want that at all in your caption, then you can just, in the captioning, then you can just delete it. And when you're finished with your video, it will automatically save. There's no save button. The other thing you can do when you have finished editing your transcript is you can go back to my content, click videos, and then you can click on this pencil on the list of videos for that particular video. And you'll see it gives you the option to download the file. So you click that and it immediately starts downloading a VTT file, which is useful in Microsoft videos. That's the basic format. There's many other formats for captions, but this is a way to get the VTT file.